Hey guys, Magentos is back here today again with another deck profile and this time it will be my new and improved jackknife jackknife deck. Yep, so it'll be a normal jackknife deck. I'm not featuring Gold Ritter because I don't like the playstyle of just having one item. Even though his effects are pretty great. So without further ado, let's get on the deck. So Buddy will be the original Jackknife Dragon because everyone loves him. Because he has awesome ability to search for other Jackknife and call it on top of this card. That's why. So, first up, 4 copies of Jackknife Dragon. So, Jackknife Dragon has a core cost of 1 gauge and the ability, which I just explained. So four copies because it's our buddy monster. And one copy of Jackknife Berserker. Just in case we run out of jackknives, we have a berserker to call on top. Because uh, jackknives require a base which is either berserker or the original jackknife dragon. Or you can just keep spamming, but most of the time your opponent will just destroy jackknife. Yeah. Next two jackknife disposal. So core cost of one gauge and core on top of a jackknife. And if it's on the left or right, this card gets penetrate. So and it has soul guard. Yep, so make use make full use of the effect and call it to the left or right. So my this deck will kind of focus on keeping the jackknife alive as long as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So next, Jackknife Jaeger. So it has the same core cost and special ability Snipe. So when this card attacks, you may discard card from your hand if you do deal 2 damage to your opponent. So basically, uh, you can slowly whittle down your opponent with this card. And it has a Helbert Dragon stat, so not too bad. Yep, you just have to discard a card for 2 damage. That's pretty worth it in my opinion. So 4 Jackknife Thunderstorm. So sim similar core cost and it has 3 crits instead. So it has another special ability, Thunder Raid. So if this card is on the left or right, pay 2 life and destroy a monster on your opponent's field. Very useful against like uh what Do Seeger. Yep, just destroy him over and over again. Okay. So next uh that will be all the jackknives we play and all the size tools. So next we play two Blue Sky Knight Seeker Penguin Dragon. So as you guys probably know, uh, now everyone's favorite deck will be Thunder Knights. At least a lot of people will be using Thunder Knights. So to nerf them, stop them from stupidly moving. Uh, basically it's one true counter with Thunder Knights. Except they will probably destroy it. Okay, whatever. So four Double Sword Dragon. So play this because uh, solid 5k attack and not too weak 4k defense. So just to get rid of stuff. And lastly, 4 copies of the Tower Shield Dragon. So basically you play a wall. Because probably uh, Thunderstorm in this puzzle requires the jackknife to be on the left or right. So we have to play walls to place in the center. And it has 2 crits so yeah. I like this wall better. Okay, now that will be all the monsters that we have. So for the spells, three Dragonborn. So yeah, you may only cast this card if you don't have a monster in the center. So choose a monster on the field during this turn. Next time it will be destroyed, gain two life, and you prevent it from leaving the field. So it's it's an awesome card, especially in a jackknife deck. So uh, jackknives are pretty damn strong. So. Your yeah, opponent would mostly try and destroy it, so you can use this, save it, and you gain 2 life. So gain 2 life uh, can be used to pay the thunder rate, the cost of thunder rate once more, so it's pretty good. So next, uh, 3 flying dragon shield. So basically now there are a lot of hit cards against stupid dragon wall, because, I don't know, it just gets too much support, because everyone loves dragons, don't they? Okay, I'm sorry. There are people who like ninjas as well, but okay, whatever. So, cost of, cost of 1 gauge and damage is 
you may only cast this card if you will be dealt damage from an attack and you do not have a monster in the center so pay one gauge and reduce the damage to zero and gain one life so a lot of cards right now like uh, sort of the king excalibur uh, cannot be nullified with cards with flying uh, with dragon shield in its name right however this reduces the damage to zero and you gain one life so technically it doesn't have the nullify keyword yep so therefore it still works against that kind of Hit cards, they hate Dragon Ball. Is it? I have no idea. I have no idea, man. So, three green dragon shields. So, you may cast this card during an attack on your opponent's turn, and you do not have a monster in the center. So, one big difference between green and flying is this reduces and this nullifies. However, this has cast cost one gauge. But, green dragon shield. It's special in such a way that it prevents your monster from uh, being destroyed as well because you can nullify the attack. The attack doesn't have to be against you, so you can save your jackknife once more. Let's keep on saving jackknife. Yeah, and stack the souls. Okay, so next spell 2 Dragon Crush. So pay 2 gauge, destroy an item or spell on the field. So it's kind of staple in a lot of decks right now, this kind of destroy stuff. Yep, because uh, like Legend World, the Asgard deck, yep, requires a lot of combo. So if you can foil the combo early, uh, you the Legend World Asgard deck would have a lot of problems. Yep, so use that to destroy what Fimbo Winter before uh the opponent is able to cast Ragnarok. Okay, so two Dragonic Charge just to charge your gauge. And two jackknife brave heart just to search out for any jackknife. Yep. And yep, two dragonic force field. So for this whole turn, your monsters on the left or right cannot be destroyed. Just at a cheap cast cost of two gauge. Okay, not exactly cheap, but it's affordable. So use this and save your jackknife once again. Okay. Okay. So uh, wrath of dragon last of the spells already so basically uh, armor dragon gets 6k of each stat so it helps to save your jackknife and it helps to break through your opponent's strong size 3 monster as well yeah, because there isn't an aggressor in this deck so you have to use this to pump up your other jackknife's power or you can simply do a link attack Yeah. alright so weapons just 4 dragon blade dragon fearless because jackknife's jackknife deck is pretty gauge heavy and especially the spells that we use are pretty gauge heavy as well so we just play vanilla weapons that doesn't do anything yeah let's use it because Tatsuku uses it yeah we all love Tatsuku don't we don't we okay so for impacts play 3 dragonic punisher because most of the time you have uh, armor size 2 or greater armor dragon on a few which is your jackknife over here Knife. It's dead. What the? I couldn't find three in your music. Oh my god, stupid Siri. I really should turn off the hey Siri thing. Shh, don't let Siri know. Okay, so Dragonic Punisher, pay 4 gauge and pay 2 life and deal 4 damage to your opponent. When your opponent has 4 life or less, so just full finish off your opponents. And one more attacking Roaring Slash Gargantra Punisher. Roaring Slash Gargantra Punisher. Okay. Ooh, nice form here. Okay, so basically it's an improved, it's not, not improved, like stronger form of the original Gargantra Punisher. Pay 5 gauge and deal 5 damage to your opponent. And it cannot be nullified and damage cannot be reduced. Mm hmm. So basically, uh, you can end off your opponents earlier rather than using Draconic Punisher. Yep, just have to weaken them a bit with your whatever Jackknife Jaeger or something. Yep. So what was I about to say? Oh, this deck. <clears throat> I think I should. I would be selling this deck on Carousel. Yep. So whatever, man. Also, uh, one thing to care about when using this deck is don't let your life drop too low with your, with the, what's that, 
What's that? What's that? Uh, Thunder Red. Oh, that's so lucky. With Thunder Red, because... Yeah, because uh, sometimes when you play against Katana World, yeah, you have to keep your life above 3 or 4 because of stupid poison misformation. Yep, so basically this will be the deck, the end of deck profile on my jackknife deck. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, leave a like down below to show me some support. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe. Um, yep, so bye guys. So check out the... Check out my career if you want interested in this deck or something. Okay, bye.